Hi guys, Englishman in Water here. Today we're at the Valletta waterfront. This is a really historic place, over 250 years. Built in the Grand Masters Barak style period. We're really lucky today because we've got two cruise ships in. I'm going to show you a little bit along the way. Loads of restaurants here, loads of people. Four different ways to go up to Valletta. You can walk, a little bit tiring because it's uphill. Taxi, a bit expensive. Uh, horse and cart, carotene in Mortis. Or there's a lift. I'll show you a secret way into the lift. Only one euro. You can save loads of money. Let's walk along a little bit and see the restaurants. I'll show you lots of different types, Chinese, Mortis and English. Lots of different styles. You can see this beautiful ship behind me, the Splendida, comes in Malta quite often. I think one of the biggest ships in the Mediterranean. And we've got another one at the front, I'm not sure, quite sure, but... So we'll go and have a look at it, see what you think. This is the original Maltese Daisa from the old days. Nice restaurants, all made in those storage sheds that I was talking about. This is one of the ways you can get up to Valletta by Karatsin. You can see a very pleasant tour they take you around. Here they're in the shade, but there's a special place where a little bit along where they can stay in the shade. Uh, this is the Costa Mediterranean. Another big ship, cruise ship that comes into Malta. You can see they're loading up now. So we'll walk a little, a little bit more and see how big it is. Now this is the place I'm telling you about. You can catch the kerosene, go all the way into Valletta, a nice tour of around 70, 80 euros though. They put them here in the shade, so it's not so bad for the horses. You can see it's quite busy today because two cruise ships, lots of people loading and unloading. The traffic is chaos around here. Plus the roads are quite small. This is the hill you'd have to walk up if you want to go into Valletta. Quite steep. Well, follow me, I'll show you the lift you can go just for one euro. Here we walked along the waterfront where the ships have berthed. Two ships, two nice big cruise ships. Uh, this is going into the really old part of Malta. On the right hand side is the Duana in Maltese. This is the customs of Malta. You can see these buildings. This is the fortress of Malta, built by gentlemen for gentlemen. This is over 250 years old. We're walking along the waterfront where the ships berth. And I'll show you the entrance. Here, look, it says Baraka lift. We're going to go in this lift right up to some beautiful gardens and hopefully 
we see the splendid Alif. Two o'clock supposed to be leaving. Here we just walked under that tunnel. Was the signpost for lift to Baraka. Here you buy the ticket for one euro. And here's the lift. I got the ticket here, one euro, and just walk along a little bit. Walk through here. We'll wait for the other lift. That one seemed a bit busy. Maybe we get a chance to bear the window. Hurry in, I think we're going to be by ourselves. That's a good one. Oh, quite lucky. Just me in the car. Woo, here we go. Just a couple of minutes up there. You can see how beautiful it was built here. I think the other lift is slightly better because you can see the sea. But still. Now we'll come up and we'll come into the Upper Baraka Gardens. These gardens, Upper and Lower Baraka. Lower Baraka is where there's guns firing for the... Oh wow, as you can see, beautiful view from here. And the weather today is really beautiful. We've been having cold days, but now... This is Valletta Harbour. Natural Harbour. One of the biggest harbours in Europe. At the back there is the Splendida. She's going out at 2 o'clock, so maybe 15 minutes more. Whoops. And we're walking out straight into the gardens. I think this is, a, this is a bit better view from here. This is the area called Upper Baraka Gardens. And the view truly fantastic. fantastic. Natural harbours in Europe. Down here is Lower Baraka Gardens. Bye bye. <laughs> Over there, the three cities Sangula, Burgu, Bormula. On Friday, we go in there because they're going to start the regatta. I'll be videoing the regatta from there, preparing the boats, and then coming over to Valletta. So, those, so wait and watch and wait for the next video. While we're waiting for Splendida to take, let's have a little walk around and you see these gardens. Eh? Everybody relaxing, loads of statues. Just a short walk through there is Valletta. There we are, there's the main gate. Walk through there and you go straight to, through, through to Valletta.
The Mediterranean is leaving us, leaving our shores. It's supposed to be 2 o'clock, 2.15, so a little bit late leaving. Go to Baraka Gardens, come to a nice piazza. Almost in Valletta, then. Wow. 
really beautiful day today. You can see the waterfront over there. The Splendida is in the key. Costa just left. And just walk out of that gate there, a Baraka, just down one of these streets. And you go to the center of you go to the center of Valletta. We'll have beautiful views from up here. There you can see the upper Baraka Gardens and the lift we went on. Just showing the Grand Harbour again as we're walking down from another direction. And the quay, Valletta waterfront, and there Floriana spreads out in front of you. This is the old Bastille of Valletta. Baraka Gardens, the Battery, Lower Baraka Gardens and Piazza da Castel or Castle Square in English. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down and any comments really valuable. And please subscribe. Wait for the next video coming up soon. Ciao!